It was a busy morning in our neonatal intensive care unit. We received a call from the labor room. A baby was about to be born, but the amniotic fluid was stained dark green. That's what we call meconium stained liquor or MSL. When we hear the word MSL, we know it's a red alert because meconium in the fluid can enter the baby's lungs during or after delivery, leading to serious breathing problems. Our team rushed to the resuscitation area, ready with suction, oxygen, and warmth. Every second matters. Before we show you what happens next, let's understand what meconium is. Meconium is a thick, sticky, dark green substance, a baby's first stool, made up of cells, mucus, and bile. Normally, babies pass it after birth, but when a baby becomes stressed inside the womb, especially if oxygen levels drop, they can pass meconium early into the amniotic fluid. When that happens, the baby may inhale or aspirate this fluid into their lungs, which can block airways and cause severe respiratory distress, a condition known as meconium aspiration syndrome. The baby was delivered, covered in thick, green meconium. The cry was absent. The baby was floppy and not breathing well. This was the moment to act fast. Our doctor quickly placed the baby under the warmer, positioned the head properly, and began suctioning the mouth and nose, gently but effectively, to clear the thick meconium before the first breath. We used a delay suction catheter and connected it to gentle negative pressure. The first suction removed a large amount of green-stained fluid from the airway. After the first suction, we saw a small movement. The chest began to rise, but the baby still wasn't crying loudly. The doctor continued gentle suctioning, removing more thick, sticky meconium that was blocking the airway. Then, after a few seconds, the baby gasped and finally let out a weak cry. That sound, in that moment, was the most beautiful sound in the room. A few hours later, we saw what every doctor hopes for. The same baby, now pink, active, and feeding. The parents' faces filled with tears of gratitude. From a silent delivery room filled with worry, to a NICU filled with hope, this was a journey from fear to relief. The baby's first cry after suction was not just a sound. It was a symbol of survival of life and of the dedication of the neonatal team. Meconium stain deliveries can be dangerous, but with the right steps, quick suctioning, proper resuscitation, and continuous care, most babies recover completely. If you're an expecting parent, remember that regular antenatal checkups and delivery in a well-equipped hospital can make all the difference. For healthcare professionals watching this, always be prepared for MSL cases. Early anticipation and teamwork save lives. We share real NICU cases and educational moments to raise awareness and help parents and professionals understand newborn care better. And remember, this video is for educational purposes only.